in here with Dominion Predator Control. I've been trapping this pond for a little while. Pulled about eight or nine beaver out of here. And this morning I get here, we had a big storm come through early in the morning for a little while. And I've got a trap missing and I've got two snares knocked down with nothing in them. So let's get over here and look at this trap and see what we got going. You can see this uh, tree had been knocked down last season or so. And the water's a little high because of the rain, but down there in the end of it, it's usually the water is a little lower than that. And all that bark has been barked off in the last two nights. And actually, I got here yesterday and saw this side was pretty good like it is now, but this side over here, I don't know if you can see it. It looks like half of that came off overnight. And I had a drowning trap on the other side of the pond over there. Pulled three or four beaver out of it. So I set a trap in about 20 yards from where my snares are right here in the ground. And you can see my caster mound it was just a little bit of mud and it was it wasn't there but it was right there and there was some dried bark and there's still a little bit of bark here and it's not really dried but it came off that limb that's down and it was up here on the bank so I put a little caster mound with a little bit of caster in it and I grabbed those pieces of bark and threw them here and put some food lure on them for the beaver some Dobbins wood chipper and I get here this morning and the trap's missing. So let's get in here and find out what we got. You can see there's definitely turtle movement, maybe crappie movement in here. It's a good day for crappie. Here's a stake here. You can see that trap's not at the front of the drowning rod. There it is. That's actually a pretty decent beaver. Female. Looks like she's nursing her young already. Turtle's got a hold of her. Maybe one of the other beaver got a hold of her. One of her pups. I figured it was pups that was pulling on that those tree branches, but not if they're nursing. She must have just been going for easy food. Got her by a front foot catch. There. Whole front foot. And that KO Beaver Extreme. But a little bit of wood chipper here in the spring. And a little bit of caster on a mound that wasn't too big, right in on location, should produce. Here's the finished remake. Not a lot of guiding. Trying to lessen up on my guiding a little bit so I don't cause any by spooking the trap shy beaver. After I've been trapping these areas as long as I have, just about everything that's left is something that's already seen something get caught or just happens to be traveling through. We're still trying to clean up, clean up some of the little ones. But this beaver is actually special to me because I caught this beaver three weeks ago in a different foothold. I got some Montanas. Montana number fives there and they got dog with pan pretty easy to set if I could put the phone down I could show you how easy they are to set and I had a Montana over on this side of the bank over here
and I had a tow, but no beaver. And I worked that trap for another week and a half, two weeks, and caught two or three other beaver out of it. So this was pretty early on when I sat here. But those Montanas just don't hold like these KO Beaver Extremes do. These KOs, they get a hold of that beaver and they're not going to let go. Whether it's front foot, back foot, beaver's foot's not going to be sliding in the side of the trap. And I sent a, a picture to a friend of mine a few days back and he noticed that one of the beavers I had caught was all the way in the edge of that trap. And that's probably how this beaver lost its toe. Kind of gruesome, maybe this, I'll have to put a warning on this for some reason, but basically the way it works is not all beaver get caught properly the first time. Sometimes they ring off a front arm, sometimes they ring off a toe, but generally trapping them with a foothold if it's set up right and they're caught properly with the right kind of trap will guarantee they go to the bottom of that wire or cable or drowning rod like I use and uh, stay there until I come and get them they'll drown pretty quick and it'll be all over with they won't have to fight but generally whenever you catch a beaver in a trap foothold they don't go to those same type of sets anymore a little bit of change up with the lure, with the guiding, and with the location of the trap on location. Caught a beaver that I was after for the last two and a half, three weeks. Dominion out.